I think JavaScript is going to continue to become even more important. Um, it clearly won as the language of the browser. Um, you know, it competed directly against Java and prevailed. Um, we're now seeing it reach into lots of other areas. It's in applications, it's in operating systems, it's in servers, it's in databases, it's in mobile devices. Uh, so I expect we'll see the reach of JavaScript continue. Um, uh, it's having success far beyond anything that we imagined for it, given its, its uh, obvious deficiencies. It deep down got enough profoundly right that it's uh, prevailing. Am I surprised? Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, particularly from my first impressions of the language, I thought it was one of the most incompetent pieces of software engineering I'd ever seen. And I'll, pretty much everybody shared that opinion. Uh, but circumstances forced me to take a closer look at it, and, and eventually I discovered that there's actually brilliance in this language, that it's right in a way that very few other languages ever get right. Um, so it, it's still tarred with its reputation, but despite that, it's managed to ascend. Um, and it's gone, yeah, a lot farther than I expected it would go, and, and it looks like it's destined to go even farther. Uh, there's a lot of really good stuff in HTML5, um, and the, the web platform has fallen deeply behind. Uh, work on standards essentially stopped in 1999. And so we're still using a, a, a technology platform that's 10 years old. And given the rate at which software matures, uh, we're, we're just not where we need to be. Um, so HTML5 is a belated effort to try to catch up, um, to uh, get us parity to what the proprietary platforms have been able to do in the last decade. The problem is that there's a fundamental security problem that's been in the browser from the beginning. And adding new capabilities to the browser actually makes it worse. So that um, the things that you could do with cross-site scripting are still there, are not mitigated by HTML5, but HTML5 will now allow you access to the local database, and local storage, and, and other things. So the potential for attackers is even greater. Um, and so, my feeling is we need to fix that first. Fortunately, we know how to do it. Uh, there's work at Google on the Kaha project, which has shown us how to safely mash up with JavaScript. Yahoo is using it extensively. Uh, we want to take the theory that's behind Kaha and reinterpret HTML using that. Um, and that will allow us, for the first time in history, to do safe mashups and to be immune from cross-site scripting attacks. Once we've accomplished that, then I'd like to review what HTML5 is proposing, uh, but this time reviewing all those features for consistency with the new security model. Um, and assuming that they're passed, they pass or they can uh, be made to pass, then they go right in. There are good ideas in HTML5, but we probably want to go forward with them. Um, there doesn't appear to be a lot of discipline in the HTML5 thing. There's a lot of duplication. We have local storage and local database. Do we really need both? You know, one ought to be sufficient. Uh, we have uh, Canvas and we have SVG. Do we really need two different drawing systems? Clearly, we need at least one. And if neither of those is sufficient, then we should throw them both out and get the right thing. If either of them is the right thing or could be made the right thing, then we don't need the other. So I'm a minimalist. And my view on standards is, the less we have to agree on in order to interoperate, the more likely we're going to successfully interoperate. Um, so it, there's too much kitchen sink in HTML5. And so I'd, I'd like it reviewed on, on that basis. But my biggest problem with HTML5 is its prioritization, that it's doing all of this stuff before dealing with security. Um, we, didn't, we missed the opportunity to deal with security in 1999. And then we stopped working on it because it was thought that the web was dead. Remember, Forrester was saying it's the ex-internet, you know, the web's not happening anymore. And that turned out to be wrong. You know, in 2005, Ajax was discovered and suddenly the web is viable again, uh, which is great. Except at that time, or during that interval, we didn't think about security. And since then, we haven't thought about security. That's probably not right. I think we think about it a lot, but we haven't taken any useful action on it. So. Uh, 
Uh, web standards, all standards, take a long time. The, the process by which you create a standard is necessarily slow and cumbersome, and it needs to be. And part of the reason for that is so that if a mistake is discovered, there is lots and lots of time to correct it or withdraw it. And we are at that stage now with HTML5. There's some people who are saying it's, it's wrong, but it's too late to fix it. Uh, no, it's never too late to do the right thing. And that's what we need to do now.